Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this video I will be showing you how you can create a production build in react and run that in your local system by using a package serve. So before starting the video, I just need to remind you if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for this kind of interesting coding related videos. So let's proceed without wasting any time. So here in my screen right now I am running the react application which you can see it is running live which is this one but I am right now using the command npm start to run it but we have not created the optimized build. So to create a optimized build we have to run a command that is npm run build when you write this and click on enter it will take some time for generating the optimized build of your complete code okay. So let it generate you can see right now build folder is automatically added to our directory okay and we have to run this build file in our local system which requires a package that is known as serve. So if you already have serve in your system then you no, don't need to install it but if you don't have serve what you need to do you need to install it. The command for installing the service you can see right now in my screen npm install minus g then you have to write serve okay npm install minus g serve you need to write and once you have written it will take maybe one to two seconds to install this serve once this serve is installed because in my system it is already there so i am not installing but after writing this you have to click enter okay once that serve is installed you can run this file for running it your command is serve minus s and then build or wherever your build is there you need to write the path of that build. okay then click on enter once you click enter it will show this kind of a status where it shows like it is running right now in the local host and when you control and click over it it will open that in your default browser right now i have opened my chrome as my default browser and it is running and it also gives you current logs whatever you will do in the, your website you will get the logs and data of it so you will be getting updated from this so if this video is interesting please like the video share with your friends and that's all for today guys thank you for watching